Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this year I have another DIY Christmas gift ideas video for you guys. I've done this every year for the past three or four years. If you are stuck and struggling on gift ideas, I personally feel like making a DIY gift is always a good bet because it just shows the person you are gifting that you put in the extra time, energy, thought, and you can really milk that during Christmas. All right, here's your gift, hon, handmade. Wow. That's right, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but toot toot. Do you know how many hours these hands slaved over making that? A lot. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. To start off, this is something I saw in a store. I thought it was gorgeous, but it was super expensive, and I thought that I could make this myself for a lot less. So I ordered this amethyst crystal from Amazon, and the first step is to paint the base gold. You can use gold leaf for this if you want more of a pop. I just used gold paint that I found. It wasn't quite metallic enough, so I went over it with a gold nail polish, and it was perfect. If you've never heard of air plants, they can live without soil and they absorb water and nutrients through their leaves. So I found this box of air plants from Amazon and it came with several different options along with plant food and care instructions. To adhere this to the amethyst, you need waterproof silicone adhesive. Again, I found this on Amazon. I will link to all of the materials I used in the description box, so check there. So play with it a little to get the placement and the plant that you like, and then just glue it down into place. You can leave it like this, or you can add some moss around the edges just to cover up any of the glue residue. And that's it. I think this would look gorgeous on someone's desk. It's so unique. And it would be cute to package this in a box that says you're a gem or bloom where you're planted, just to take it up a notch. These next three DIYs I love because you can use the same recipe for three different things. The first is going to be a DIY facial steam. I went to my local health food store, the bulk section, and I got a variety of different teas, dried fruits, and flowers. The first blend I made had lavender flowers, lemon peel, and green tea, and the second one had green tea, dried apple, rose petals, and orange rind. How these work as a facial steam is you sprinkle some of the mixture into a large glass bowl filled with boiling water and hover your face over the water with a towel so that your face absorbs all the steam. It also smells amazing. This feels amazing. Now you can take this same blend and put it into a larger glass container and label it as a custom blended tea, or you could put them in these large disposable tea bags and label them as a bath tea. So depending on how you wanna package them or what you personally like best, this one concept has many different options. Next is a DIY aromatherapy fragrance oil. You can use this instead of a perfume and it has beneficial mood enhancing properties from the essential oils. To start, you can use any carrier oil that you like, so almond oil, grapeseed oil. I personally like to use jojoba oil. Then just add your essential oils. You can add one or make your own custom blend. I love using Citrus Bliss by doTERRA. This is my all-time favorite essential oil. It's an uplifting, happy smell. I'm adding about 12 drops to one ounce of oil, but you just wanna play with it until you get the potency that you like. The second blend I'm making is using Serenity, which is a calming blend, and this one I put into a rollerball applicator that makes it just easier to apply. What you can do here is take the facial steam, tea, bath tea, and the aromatherapy fragrance oil, package it all together as a pamper set, add a nice fuzzy robe to it, and I think this is just an awesome gift, maybe something for your mom or your girlfriend. And this particular robe I found from Nordstrom and it had the best reviews, it's so soft, so I will link to this one below. Up next, this is a great gift for any coffee lover in your life, which let's be honest, is about 90% of the population. So to start out, I picked out some nice coffee gear, fresh coffee beans, some cute mugs, this is a hand coffee grinder in stainless steel, so you put your coffee beans on the top and you hand grind them. It's supposed to be amazing. And along with that, a pour over coffee carafe with a stainless steel filter, so you don't even need to use disposable filters. All of these products had great reviews. To add a personal touch to this, we're going to make some super easy DIY cinnamon dolce coffee syrup. So for this, just get a saucepan on medium heat, add one cup of water, one cup of brown sugar, a third cup of maple syrup, two cinnamon sticks and let this heat until the sugar melts. Once it's all combined, allow it to cool for about 15 minutes and pour it into a carafe and add a label. Now you can package this all together in a cute box and you have a coffee lover's kit. This last idea you may have seen before, but this is a new method I just found out about that's extremely easy. 
So you first start by taking an image that you like and print it onto regular printer paper. You're gonna want to flip the image because it will come out in reverse. So using this method, you could transfer images onto glass, wood, or canvas using white acrylic paint. So start by applying a generous coat of your white acrylic paint onto the surface and then put your image on top face down. Smooth it down firmly onto your paint and allow it to completely dry, ideally overnight. Once it's completely dry, take a damp cloth and gently wipe away the paper. It's gonna peel right off. And what you will see is the image remains behind it and it has a really cool artistic vintage effect. That's how it's supposed to look, almost like an old vintage photo. The final step is to cover it in Mod Podge and this will just seal it and polish the picture so it's gonna last. You also want to allow this to completely dry. I personally think that this is a great gift for parents or grandparents. I know that Carter's grandparents absolutely love photos of him, so I think they're going to find these very special. So those are my ideas for this year. Let me know down in the comments which that I showed is your favorite. And quick announcement, my big iPhone X giveaway is ending in just a couple days. So to be entered for that, make sure you are subscribed to my channel with notifications turned on and share this video on Twitter or Facebook. And our Vassar skincare giveaway is ending in a few days as well. So that's 25% off all Vassar skincare products and a $50 value goodie bag that comes with your order. I think a starter kit or a beauty pillow would make an amazing gift. So I will leave those linked down below along with the information for all of the other DIYs that I shared. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. All right, here's your gift, hon. Handmade. Wow. That's right, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but to, to, do you know how many hours these hands slaved over making that? A lot. Hashtag one of a kind. You know what you can't buy in a store? This. Because I made it. It's basically priceless. You can't put a price on it. Oh, did I mention that it's made from scratch by me with these hands?